An index is something you create for a column in a table to speed up searches involving that column. There are two main types of column index, the clustered index and the non-clustered index. With a clustered index, the records are organised on secondary storage in some kind of order. You can think of a table with a clustered index as being a bit like a telephone directory or a dictionary. In reality, the pages of records are stored as nodes in a binary tree data structure, because a binary tree allows for very fast searching. A table can only have one clustered index, because the records can only be in one particular order. However, a single clustered index can be made up of multiple columns. This is known as a composite index. In the same way that a telephone directory is organised by last name, then first name. If a table has a primary key, this will normally be the clustered index. When a query involving the clustered index is executed, the data on secondary storage can be searched very quickly and the record retrieved to memory. This table doesn't have a primary key and it doesn't have a clustered index. The order of the records is simply the order in which they were added to the table. These records are stored in a so-called heap. This table does, however, have a non-clustered index, also known as a secondary index or a secondary key. A non-clustered index is a separate data structure from the records and it functions rather like the index in the back of a textbook. The data inside a non-clustered index are in order and each value in the index has a pointer to the physical location of the entire record on secondary storage. When a query involving the indexed column is executed, a copy of the entire non-clustered index is loaded into memory. This is then searched for any matches. When a match is found, the entire record is retrieved from secondary storage. Because the computer's RAM can be accessed much faster than secondary storage, searching the index is very quick. And because the index is ordered, a binary search can be used, which is particularly fast. In some database systems, a non-clustered index is a binary tree data structure, which lends itself to fast searching. A table can have several non-clustered indexes, so you can index as many different columns in a table as you like. But whenever you change, add or delete data, each index on disk has to be updated immediately. Therefore, data modification is slowed down by indexing. It's all about knowing how you intend to search a table, how often the data will be updated and getting the balance right. To summarise, a clustered index and a non-clustered index both speed up searching for records. With a clustered index, records are stored in order according to the clustered index. With a non-clustered index, records are stored in a different order. The clustered index is an arrangement of the actual records on secondary storage. A non-clustered index is stored separately from the actual records. A clustered index is normally implemented as a binary tree. A non-clustered index may also be implemented as a binary tree. Only one clustered index is allowed per table, but a table can contain multiple non-clustered indexes. The primary key of a table is normally a clustered index, but any column can have a non-clustered index. A clustered index doesn't require any extra storage. It's a feature of the data itself. A non-clustered index, on the other hand, does require extra storage space.